Hi, and welcome to Enchantment of Eternity's review of Unexpected, which is episode 4 of season 1 of Star Trek Enterprise. This video is part of a series of videos where I review episodes of Star Trek as requested by my viewers. This episode was requested by Elko D. Boyer. Unexpected was the episode in which uh, the ship's basic functions uh, start acting up and Trip manages to trace all the malfunctions to something uh, behind the ship and Captain Archer discovers there is a cloaked ship following them. They hail them to find strange aliens who are simply using Enterprise's warp field to repair their own ship. In the interest of cooperation, they send Tucker over to help repair their ship. However, Trip finds adjusting to this alien ship's environment very difficult. Cold. However, he gets the hang of it and works uh, closely with the alien's engineer who happens to be a woman. They bond a bit and she uh, shows Trip uh, what could be described as an earlier version of a holodeck as well as introducing him to a box of pebbles that they both both put their hands in, they can read each other's thoughts. So Trip returns to the Enterprise after repairing the alien ships, and then they go on their merry way, and everything seems to return to normal. That is, until Trip notices a strange growth on his wrist that Dr. Phlox informs him is a nipple and further informs him that he is pregnant. While T'Pol and Archer accuse him of engaging in unauthorized sexual activity, Trip insists he did no such thing, but once he mentions the box of pebbles, Phlox reasons he could have been impregnated that way. However, Phlox doesn't know enough about these aliens to safely remove the fetus, uh, so the Enterprise struggles to find this alien ship again. After weeks pass with no success, Commander Tucker starts to worry he'll have to carry the baby to term. Uh, when they finally find the ship uh, hiding in a warp field of a Klingon ship, so Archer decides to simply tell the Klingons about the ship, and they, of course, want to destroy them for using their ship in such a way, but Archer manages to negotiate a trade, the aliens hollow uh, technology to the Klingons to keep them from destroying them. However, in order to convince them to take Trip with them to the alien ship, he has to reveal to the Klingons that he's pregnant and the Klingons have a good laugh over this. But once the aliens safely remove the fetus from Commander Tucker, they all go on their merry ways. So watching this episode reminds me a lot of what I hated about season one of Enterprise and in fact the entire premise of Enterprise. Now that's not to say I think Unexpected is one of the worst episodes of Enterprise. I actually think it's a fairly decent episode, particularly when compared to some of the really bad stinkers they had this season. However, I do think this episode is a prime example of the feeling and tone they were originally going for with this show and that's a feeling and tone that is really bad and I really hate it and I really felt that the show in general uh, was like the wrong direction for the Star Trek franchise to take. First off, while it was interesting that this episode tries to be a tad bit more realistic with meeting alien races than Star Trek has historically been, as typically Star Trek, when they meet aliens, they're just like humans, other than they have a few bumps on their forehead. However, this show, uh, they live in a totally different environment that's hard for humans to adjust to, uh, with strange customs and biology, as they have grass and food growing on the ship, and of course, uh, they're able to impregnate males simply by both having their hands in a box of pebbles. And although this approach is a tad bit more realistic, it's also inconsistent with Star Trek lore and totally boring, as having alien, strange aliens is all well and good, but it doesn't tell interesting stories or bring up great moral dilemmas that Star Trek is known for, and that's what's really important to me. So while this approach is all well and good, it's inconsistent and definitely no substitute for great storytelling. Uh, this episode always reminds me of why Enterprise as a show was a failure as they have absolutely boring and bland cast of characters. Again they try to relate that this group to like astronauts going off into space for the first time and I'm sorry but that's kind of boring and totally not what I want out of Star Trek. If another sci-fi show tried to do a, like a premise where it was like a bunch of astronauts going out into space for the very first time and they tried to show in more realistic ways their interactions with meeting aliens for the first time, I'd be all for that. In fact, that sounds like a great idea for a TV show, just not a Star Trek one because that's not what Star Trek is 
about Star Trek is fake. It has things like warp speed and transporters and humans having explored like almost a fourth of the galaxy in a mere 300 years from now where really I'd be surprised if humans even leave the solar system in that time. So being realistic isn't the point. Having great stories and using these obviously fictional settings in order to make great and relevant commentary on modern times and the human condition overall is what Star Trek is all about. Enterprise tries too hard to be like a hard science fiction story, which is nonsense because Star Trek has never been and will never be straight up hard science. And to attempt to make it so is doomed for failure. And this is why Enterprise got better in its third and fourth seasons because it had abandoned this approach and realized that it was a mistake and started being like Star Trek should actually be. But getting more into this episode in particular, I remember when Enterprise was first being released, they used this episode as a selling point for the story, for the series overall, with articles and other promotional material uh, that there's even an episode where a man gets pregnant! Ha ha! And this is another thing about Enterprise that really bothers me, is that it has a cast of bland characters that are so vanilla they make white bread seem edgy, and yet, at the same time, they would often try these highly contrived and very obvious attempts to make this show appear hip and edgy. And oh look, a man gets pregnant uh, was an all too obvious attempt at this. And just like all their other attempts, it fails miserably. However, that being said, the execution of this episode wasn't that bad and didn't come off as cheesy as it was really interesting seeing naive humans interact with bizarre aliens for the first time. However, the episode did go into cheesy territory after Trip got pregnant as they played all the stereotypical oh look a man's pregnant ha ha jokes that are so cliche and awful. I mean come on does anyone actually like the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie Junior? No so why try to make a Star Trek episode about it? Anyway, some of these failed attempts are such as uh, Trip becoming hypersensitive about what people are saying about him and being hungry all the time. And the whole scene where Trip was bitching at one of the engineers about how dangerous the lift was was so dumb and was taking that stereotype way too far. It was absolutely ridiculous and so contrived. That being said, Tucker did have a good point about the handrails being ultra dangerous as if someone put their hands on it, it would take their fingers right off. And the other engineer's response of, oh, why would anyone put their hands there, was an extremely idiotic response. That's, you know, not the point on why someone would put their hands there. Maybe for balance, maybe to look cool, maybe because they freaking feel like it. The main point is that it's very unnecessarily dangerous and a poor design flaw but maybe that's just me. So let's talk about the plot with the Klingons. This is another problem I had, and a lot of other people had with the show overall, as it is an example of Archer acting like a complete and total moron. I understand that they try to portray this crew as naive to the ways of space. However, they often take it too far, where rather than simply being naive, they're outright incompetent, as professionals of any era, regardless of their knowledge of lack or of space aliens, should know a little common sense. And Archer, like, you know, a goofy idiot, simply tells the Klingons about the cloaked alien ship using their warp field and is surprised when the Klingons want to kill them. Of course they do! They're frickin' Klingons! If I were uh, the aliens, I'd be a lot more pissed off at Archer for almost getting them all killed as he just exposed them to the Klingons like a bumbling idiot unaware of the consequences of his own actions. And the whole portrayal of the Klingons as stiff assholes who want to kill everyone regardless of what's right in front of them and again failing to use basic common freaking sense also really bothers me. Uh, so another thing to point out in this episode is that it never even mentions the possibility of Trip getting an abortion. Uh, like the uh, possibility of abortion is completely left out. And I think to me that shows that the show was like, oh, well that's a controversial subject so I don't want to touch it with a 10 foot pole. But as I said earlier, the whole point of Star Trek is to tackle controversial subjects, is to make commentary on modern sci uh, modern day society using science fiction. So again, this is an example of why this Enterprise show, especially the first two seasons, was not Star Trek in avoiding the typical things that made Star Trek good. 
So my rating for Unexpected out of 10 is a 5 average. It's a ridiculous premise done for obvious shock value and a failed attempt at making the show seem edgy, and this episode reminded me a lot of all the aspects I hated about the first two seasons of Enterprise overall. However, they actually managed to pull off this ridiculous premise really well and didn't make it too silly over the top and managed to tell an interesting story of early Starfleet vessel encountering strange aliens and what the, uh, un- expected consequences of those encounters might be. So that's it for my review of Unexpected. If there's an episode from any of the five Star Trek series you'd like me to review, just leave a comment below with the episode you'd like me to review, and I'll endeavor to do so. But please, one episode request per person. Also be advised it will be over a month before I can get to any new requests. I also want to announce that next week on Enchantment of Eternity will be Star Trek Week, where I'll be doing five Star Trek episode reviews next week to try to get caught up on all my pending episode reviews, so please be sure to check that out, as well as many more Star Trek videos I have on my channel, in addition to many other videos on many other shows like Game of Thrones and more, so be sure to subscribe so you can keep up with all of that, and thanks a lot for watching.